Good afternoon everyone. My name's Ian. I am a, a food growing coordinator and I work for the Up and Active project uh, and I really like it. Um, what I'd like to just do, run really fast today through, is planting potatoes. Today is April the 7th. It's a fantastic sunny day. It's a good time to put in what's known as main crop potatoes. Um, and guess what? In this little trench here that I've dug earlier, um, I have some main crop potatoes. Now I'm just going to take one out. This is this particular one. It's called a Maris Piper. Now it looks a bit strange. If people are used to buying potatoes in the supermarket, you may never have seen a creature like this before. Now what's happening here is the potato, and I'm not going to swear, honest, is growing a chit. That's C-H-I-T. Now you can imagine when I mentioned this in schools and I say that these potatoes are chitting themselves, then it's chaos. But I'm being entirely serious. This is what they're doing. They're all chitting. And we do this at home. It gets them to grow first, if you will. They've got a head start. I've had these on top of my cupboard in an egg box for the last couple of weeks. And it's produced this marvellous shoot. And that is going to give it a good start. I have dug a trench, which is 15 centimetres, or if you're like me, you're still thinking imperial, that is six inches down, which is exactly the depth of a trowel blade. A trowel is actually 30 centimetres or 12 inches, so you can use this as a measuring tool when you're planting. So, I have dug my trench, I'm going to set my little Maris Piper in there, what I've done to help it along a little bit is I've stuck some farmyard manure in the trench. It's well rotted um, and that'll help the potato grow. Potatoes are a hungry crop. They, um, they need a lot of feeding. So, um, and I've spaced these around about 12 inches apart, which is again a 12 uh, depth apart. So my spuds go along here 12 inches using my trowel. I've got this going on right up here. This is my uh, bed this year for potatoes. I have King Edwards in on one, two, three, four, four rows of King Edwards, two rows of Maris Pipers. Um, what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna cover them over. Well, might give them a bit of a water, maybe cover them over and then hope that they grow. So. Maybe in a, a few weeks time, maybe three, four weeks time when they're showing, we might come back here and we'll see how they're doing and we'll talk our way through our potato grows at this time of year. So thank you very much for your time and attention. I hope I see you all soon. Keep safe. God bless and bye bye.